In this video, we are going to do a third problem on the Leontief input output model. Let us look at a question. Suppose that a hypothetical economy depends on only two industries the electric company E and the water company W. So, in this particular question, there are only two industries. Output for each company is measured in dollars. The electric company uses input both electricity and water in the production of electricity the water company uses input both electricity and water in the production of water suppose that the production of each dollar's worth of electricity requires 0 0.30 dollar worth of electricity and 0 0.10 dollar worth of water so for producing each dollar worth of electricity the input requirements are 0 0.30 dollar of electricity and 0 0.10 dollar worth of water for producing each dollar's worth of water the input requirements are 0 0.20 dollar worth of electricity and 0 0.40 dollar worth of water if the final demand from all other uses of electricity and water is 12 million dollars for electricity and 8 million dollars for water how much electricity and water should be produced so they have also given the final demand for each industry that is 12 million dollars for electricity and 8 million dollars for water now given the input requirements of the two industries that is the electric company and water company and also the final demand for the output of each of the industry they have asked us to find the level of output that each of the industry should produce now in the solution first of all we need to write down what is given by question the electric company has been denoted by e and the water company by w according to the question 0 0.30 dollar worth of electricity and 0 0.10 dollar worth of water is used for producing one dollar worth of electricity also 0 0.20 dollar worth of electricity and 0 0.40 dollar worth of water is used for producing one dollar worth of water the final demand for electricity and water are 12 billion dollars and 8 billion dollars respectively we need to find the output levels for electric company and water company let us represent the above given information in an input output table for producing one dollar worth of electricity 0 0.30 dollar worth of electricity is used and 0 0.10 dollar worth of water is used for producing one dollar worth of water 0 0.20 dollar worth of electricity is used and 0 0.40 dollar worth of water is used the final demand for electric company is 12 billion dollars and the final demand for water company is 8 billion dollars rewriting the above input output table in an equation form we have the first equation shows that the output of electric company is being demanded as intermediate input by the electric company itself and by water company part of its output is also being demanded as final good by consumers the second equation shows that output of the water company is being demanded as intermediate input by the electric company and by the water company itself part of its output is also being demanded by consumers as final goods now rearranging the above set of equations in matrix form we have now let us name the output vector by x the input coefficient matrix by a and the final demand vector by f Rewriting the above in notational form we have x equal a times x plus f. So we have already discussed how the input output model equation is derived in the last problem. Now this expression is known as the Leontief input output model equation and i minus a superscript minus 1 is known as the inverse of i minus a which is the Leontief matrix. Let us compute the Leontief matrix i minus a. The Leontief matrix is obtained by subtracting the input coefficient matrix 
from an identity matrix. So in this particular problem, this is our input Gaussian matrix. By subtraction, we have 0 0.70 minus 0 0.20 minus 0 0.10 and 0 0.60. Before proceeding to solve the before proceeding to solve the Leontief input output model equation, first we need to find the inverse of i minus a, that is the inverse of the Leontief matrix. The formula for computing the inverse of i minus a is i minus a superscript minus 1 is equal to 1 by determinant i minus a times a join i minus a. Let us find the determinant of i minus a. Next, let us find the cofactor of each element of the Leontief matrix. Cofactor of A11, that is 0 0.70. Let us check its positional sign. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 is an even number, so we have a positive sign. Deleting the row and the column, we have 0 0.60. Cofactor of A12, that is minus 0 0.20. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 3 is a not number, so we have a negative sign. Deleting the row and the column, we have minus 0 0.10. Minus times minus equals plus, so we have 0 0.10. Cofactor of A12, that is minus 0 0.10. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 3 is an odd number, so we have a negative sign. Deleting the row and the column, we have minus 0 0.20. Minus times minus equals plus, so we have 0 0.20. Cofactor of A22, that is 0 0.60. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 is an even number, so we have a positive sign. Deleting the row and the column, we have 0 0.70. Now let us arrange the cofactor of each element in a matrix, which is known as the cofactor matrix. Now cofactor of A11 is 0 0.60, cofactor of A12, 0 0.10, cofactor of A21, 0 0.20, and cofactor of A22 is 0 0.70. Next, let us find the adjoint matrix of I minus A. Now, the adjoint matrix is nothing but the transpose of the cofactor matrix. Transpose of a given matrix is obtained by interchanging the rows into columns or columns into rows. So let us substitute the determinant of I minus A and the adjoint of I minus A in the formula of I minus A inverse. The determinant of I minus A is 0 0.40. So finally, after obtaining the inverse of the Leontief matrix I minus A, we can now proceed to substitute it in the Leontief input output model equation and find the output levels for both the industries that is the electric company and the water company. Now F in this case is the final demand vector. Now let us multiply the adjoint matrix with the final demand vector. In the multiplication process we shall multiply the first row with the final demand vector and the second row with the final demand vector. Let us start with the first row. 0 0.60 times 12 plus 0 0.20 times 8. For the second row, 0 0.10 times 12 plus 0 0.70 times 8. 0 0.60 times 12 equals 7.2 plus 0 0.20 times 8 equals 1.6. For the second row, 0 0.10 times 12 equals 1.2 plus 0 0.70 times 8 equals 5.6. 7.2 plus 1.6 equals 8.8. 1.2 plus 5.6 equals 6.8. 8.8 divided by 0 0.40 equals 22. 6.8 divided by 0 0.40 equals 17. So finally, we will write down. Therefore, the output levels for 
electric company e and water company w are 22 billion dollars and 17 billion dollars respectively